We're back on TYT Sports. Uh, that's Burlick and that's Faxwell. Does that work? I was gonna say, is it too bad to say Jubin? <laughs> that's what it's been. Jubin. That's what it was oh in college. God. Here's the thing that I uh, I was uh, looking on the, the digital video guide on a, a cable thing that I had. What is that? You know, it's like you hit guide on your cable box oh. and it was like all these shopping channels and there was only enough for like two descriptors and then the word jewel, but not all of the word so jewel. Jew. So it's like fancy Egyptian Jew <laughs> <laughs> and like really like new gold Jew. So my question dot, is, dot, dot. when you clicked on that channel, how quickly did it take you to buy an Egyptian golden Jew? I bought them, I bought them I bought all. three of them. As many as I could. <laughs> Call now, it was we'll throw in a magic jewelry. bullet for free. Yeah, it was for <laughs> jewelry, but I thought that was funny. That's uh, what Jubin made me think of. Ezekiel Elliott suspended six games by the NFL. He will appeal it, which means he'll be suspended like one game or maybe get like a bonus, four games. He'll no, go down to four, so it's on par with uh, mm. Brady. It's on par with Brady. <laughs> uh, we don't know what the appeals uh, is actually gonna be. But the NFL, like all the headlines, like immediately, I've been getting update after update about how this issues in a new, a new era of NFL punishment. And there's a lot of issues with Ezekiel Elliott being made the example in this case. For one, to be fair to Ezekiel Elliott, there was uh, he was it was not convicted by any kind of court or police. There was thousands of text messages, and it seems like the best approximation is. Both sides were not exactly in the best relationship. The judge said he believes there was physical violence, but there was no proof of mm -hmm. physical violence. Uh, and the NF and when they dropped that, the NFL still opted to suspend six games because they don't have to go by what the law says. Actually, when the law example Josh Brown, one game, uh, the G Giants kicker who had all the information. Does this actually issue in a new era of NFL punishment? I'm fine with if it with it if it does. Don't put yourself in a situation where after an interaction with your significant other or any other female, there is a point at which she has bruises. Fair. I've been in many relationships many times for many years consistently. <laughs> and at no point does anyone have a bruise Unless I accidentally like <laughs> was surfing and hit her with a surfboard, which happened once, <laughs> and I apologize and I felt terrible. We have to suspend uh, you six days from yeah. TYT. Uh, <laughs> that's a good point. Uh, the, my my thought on this is like I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to see if the NFL remains consistent because what we have in front of us is an absolute sea of shite. And what that I mean is what we've seen in the past with the NFL is so many inconsistencies. So what we have is a video of uh, Ray Rice hitting his wife and he gets four games for that, right? And everyone is in uproar about the ridiculousness that is the NFL's domestic violence policy. Uh, and apparently the NFL not knowing so allows Josh Brown to go and get re-signed on a contract with the Giants, even though the Giants knew so. So they just have an absolute plethora of horrible decisions when it comes to domestic violence. And as you mentioned at the start, Jason, we don't know enough details. We have got the reports um, that led to say that Ezekiel Elliott committed some sort of physical assault, but it's not been proven yet. So what the NFL, I guarantee, is doing now is they're like, oh my God, we're so bad. Let's just try and be really harsh right now. Wait, and if the, it comes out that he's done it, great. If it doesn't, then we're still gonna save our ass because you know what, we gave out the decision. And that shouldn't be the way it goes in an organization, but that's what they've created for themselves. Yeah. So now when another case comes out, or we see, because there's guaranteed there's gonna be one, and guess what, they'll walk back into the NFL but no I problem, also, get a I job. look at the people involved with this specific example being six game suspension for Ezekiel. It's Ezekiel Elliott, led the Regan rushing last year. Mm -hmm. uh, you have Jerry Jones firing off on the phone right now, extremely angry as the owner of the Dallas Cowboys, which, I, you know, stand up for your team. I understand that example of it. Mm -hmm. um, but you have Jerry Jones who just got inducted into the Hall of Fame. Like it wasn't, you know, the NFL making an example, there's it, it it's a little bit fishy because of the names involved. Like, let's make an example out of one of the best running backs, the most famous owner, and show the league that, hey, we're gonna stick it to Tom Brady and the Dallas, like, so the New England Patriots and the Dallas Cowboys. I'm just curious if it was anybody else. They just- Would they have made this decision? No, they wouldn't have made it, it well, it wouldn't have become as high profile a case if it weren't as high profile an athlete, athlete. involved. Right. Um, 
But I think there's definitely, from Roger Goodell's office and everyone else in the NFL, they have their head on a swivel for people criticizing them. And the last thing they want anyone to say is, here is someone who got a spe got special treatment and let off easy just because they're really good at running football. And I think because of that, they want to come down with the hammer quickly. And, so and I do want them to be consistent. That yeah, is. there's no doubt. And I think that they are under an intense amount of scrutiny as they should be right now as an organization because they have selective outrage. That's clear. Right. I'm not going to bring right. in the Kaepernick right. discussion again, but it is comes down to selective outrage and what the NFL owners and the NFL executive team categorizes as something that is almost uh, irredeemable as a quality in one of their players, something that should be harshly scrutinized. They basically gave free range to domestic violence for several years by not punishing it the way it should have been punished. And athletes in the league, I'm not saying they would have thought to themselves, wow, league's not punishing, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna start hitting some women. No, it just means <laughs> that there is no, uh, almost felt like in a way that Oh my! The, 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 my job, my profile is not as much in jeopardy as it is if I happen to take a knee over an, an instance of police violence, and that is all down to the just the, the false outrage that surrounds this league. Did they uh, suspend Kaepernick? Did the no, but they, why? The reason why? This is a good point. In the NBA, there's rules that say that you have to abide by the national anthem. If not, then you do not come out on foot, or they can be punished. In the NFL, there is no rules. So how do you punish someone that Got does it. something? Then they do the backdoor dealings of rules such well, as there are rules. Little, little, like for example, your offensive lineman can't move an inch before yeah. the snap. I mean rules on being means being oh, like that. So that's why this whole black There's more rules thing. in football than anything. That's joking. why the black ball thing it comes under so much question because I'm like, oh, well, what do you mean they're doing that? Like they, they can't do that. And I'm like, well, how else are you gonna punish them? Alright, one more joke. Francis, it's not a black ball in Africa, it's an ovular. Shaped egg that we throw and it's brown. It looks, looks like brown, an egg. Brown. Hand egg. Hand egg. But people hand egg. who you I say kinda, are black are brown. So how do I how do I word this one correctly? Because if I have to, so okay, the judge says that he believes physical violence occurred, but there's that he can't. There wasn't proof of it, and there's some. And there's also, of course, the story of the most famous of these reports was the 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 the, the victim. In this case, with Ezekiel Elliott, said that she's there's multiple times she screamed, "I'm going to ruin your career." Hmm. Now, so a lot of people jump to that and go, "Like she's doing it for the money. She wants to extort him for something that might have happened." But by the way, he's going to make it, less money if he's suspended. Right. Well, he does. He lost his eight million guaranteed in his contract hmm. if he suspended six games. But my point also being is, just because she said that doesn't mean that he didn't hit her. Mm -hmm. Like, right. If, like that's a reason why she would say, "You just, just marry him first, idiot." <laughs> Oh my God. Right? It's <laughs> a good point. Um, but I guess, like, I, I don't want to say I feel bad for Ezekiel Elliott because anybody who even takes part in domestic abuse is such an irredeemable quality in my book. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's why I like, don't feel bad but, about it. But no, making yeah. an example out of Ezekiel Elliott just feels like it's too easy for the NFL to see these headlines then like Bleacher Report and other places go, new era for the NFL, wonderful job by Goodell for doing this. It just mo mocks the same idea of, of when Trump dropped the mother of all bombs and every outlet go, hey, oh, good point. look how strong he is. And he's gonna see this and I think Goodell does pay attention to the I'm headlines. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with him ushering in an era in which he is more strict about domestic violence among his Me players. Too. I agree and with I, that. In I the same that. way that media pressure would result in his new behavior, I think media pressure needs to result in his consistent behavior. Mm -hmm. Good point. Okay. Uh, the mother of all suspensions has mm -hmm. been dropped on. Uh, Moas. Ezekiel. Moas. Also, we'll it even sounds in good. Post, <laughs> in post, you guys know the crop top he was like he wears a yeah. lot. Ezekiel Elliott. They turned his belly into the crying Jordan. So. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Comment below, like, favorite, and subscribe. Cowboys fans, suck it. I don't like the Cowboys. Go Giants. <laughs>